Here we're going to continue with solutions in chemistry and in this case we're going to take a look at the effect of pressure on solubility of gases in solutions. We already know that most gases, not all, but most gases will be able to be dissolved in a solution much more easily when the solution is cold and less easily when the solution is hot or warm. Well, there's also a dependency on the solubility of gases in solutions depending upon the pressure in the atmosphere or the pressure in the gas above the solution. If the pressure goes up, then the solubility of the gas goes up. It's almost like when there's more gas molecules or more molecules of the gas that we're trying to dissolve into the liquid, then there's more pressure pushing them into the liquid and more will become uh, dissolved within the liquid than when there's far fewer in there. So here's a nice little pictorial. If there's a lot more pressure, a lot more of the gas will dissolve into the solution than when there's a lot less pressure. So there's a proportionality between the amount of solubility of the, in, of the gas in the solution and the pressure above that solution. So kind of the way to look at it is that the solubility is proportional to the pressure. So kind of what that means is if you double the pressure, you expect the solubility to, to double. And if you triple the pressure, you expect the solubility to triple. In other words, if there's three times as much pressure, you expect three times as much of the gas to be dissolved. That is known as Henry's law. Henry saw that, realized that, and so he came up with that proportionality idea. Now, let's say we try to put that into an equation. We're going to use a constant C as the molar concentration of dissolved gas. What that means is C will now represent the number of moles per liter of gas, uh, the number of moles of gas per liter of solution. And so that's then called the molar concentration of the dissolved gas. So therefore we can also write that the molar concentration is proportional to the pressure. And if we want to turn that into an equation, we need some sort of co uh, constant of proportionality, let's call it K, so that C, which is the molar concentration of the gas, is equal to some constant times the pressure above the, the solution, and typically, of course, when we talk to, about the pressure, which will be in atmospheres, we talk about the partial pressure of that gas. So if we're concerned about how much that gas will be dissolved in the solution, we want to know what the partial pressure of the gas is. For example, nitrogen makes up 78% of the Earth's atmosphere, so therefore the partial pressure of nitrogen gas in the atmosphere will be only 78% of, at of the atmospheric pressure. So we don't put the whole atmospheric pressure in the equation, we only put the partial pressure of the gas that we're interested in that's dissolving the solution in our equation. Also, in this case, K represents that constant, and that constant will depend on the temperature, because we already know that that temperature dependency is also important. As the temperature goes down, the solubility goes up. As the temperature goes up, solubility goes down. So the K, the solubility constant, does also depend on the temperature. So we always have to express the number, if we get, we're given the number, what the temperature is that we were at. And typically they like to express it in terms of what is the solubility constant at 25 degrees centigrade, which is considered about room temperature. So in the, this case for nitrogen, K is 5.3 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter, which means that if there's one atmosphere of partial pressure of nitrogen and K is 5.3 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter, then there will be 5.3 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter dissolved in the solution when the temperature is 25 degrees and if the pressure of the nitrogen is one atmosphere, of course, in the Earth's atmosphere, there's only 78%, so therefore, the amount of gas, nitrogen gas, dissolved in the solution would be only 78% of this at 25 degrees. So we have to adjust for the partial pressure of the gas. So that gives you, hopefully, a pretty good idea of how the solubility does depend on the pressure. Basically, it's directly proportional, double the pressure, double the solubility, triple the pressure, triple the solubility. We then have to come up with a constant. Constant usually is set at 25 degrees centigrade, and it tells us how many moles of the gas will dissolve in a liter at 25 degrees centigrade if the pressure is 100% attributable to that gas. If it's partial pressure, less than one atmosphere, then of course we have to account for that in our equations. And I'll show you a couple of examples so you can get more familiar with how to use this kind of uh, idea on the solubility.